now we can set up a trigger, an API trigger that will expose the blocks function which calls the model. Let's give it a, a name, real-time predictions. Give it a short description. And as you can see here, that's the token. Here's how you pass it in as a header. We'll save this trigger. We'll enable it. And we'll also save it to code so that we can version control it. And so that if this gets deployed anywhere, this API endpoint will be live. All right, so let's copy that token. And let's refer back to our document on the curl command. So we'll take that curl command. Actually, let's update this token. And this token will change depending on the token that gets created for your pipeline. Okay, let's copy this. And let's run this in the terminal. Let's, let's make sure we copy this correctly. Oh, yep, missing a, missing a quote string. Okay, let's do that again. I'll paste this in here. And okay. got to clear that, paste that in, press enter, it comes out, the predictions. Let's do that again. Looks good. Let's go see what happened. So we'll check the runs. As you can see, we executed it several times. And you can see also the block run for it as well. Right. Looks good.